Misery Box, I've asked you the same question five times in a row. Okay, don't say that. Ask the question. Because you are a spoiled little cunt. How about that? A cunt boy. How about that? You like that? You like being talked down to you like that? I don't know. What you like? Hi, Mommy. I want to fuck your son in the ass. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. It's not too often that I step outside the familiar territory that is Reddit content. It's what I do, that's what my channel is based around, it's what I enjoy doing, and I know it's what you all enjoy listening to. There are many of us here in this rapidly emerging community, and I'm really glad to say we all get along for the most part. This is why this video brings me little to no joy to create, and in fact, it hurts. But this information is beginning to spread and make its way around the internet, and if someone is going to take a stab at someone else in the Reddit YouTuber community, I want it to come from us first. And today I have another Reddit video for you, but this one isn't about a specific subreddit. We're talking about the pig that's about to be roasted into some crispy bacon slices, misery box. You see, I realize every community has a couple bad eggs and ours is no exception. But when we find out what the bad is, sometimes it can be a little bit overwhelming. And just a couple days ago, there was not a bad thing I could say about our community. And now there is a problem a big problem. I'm not talking about he's mean to his fans or anything like that. I'm talking about someone who is okay with doxing another individual online, someone who is homophobic and transphobic. Welcome to today's video. There's another YouTuber on this platform known as Misery Box. He's roughly the same size as me and came up a while back in the beginning of this year. Although I never outright disliked the guy, I didn't initially have much contact with him. His channel blew up around the r slash entitled parents rage in early February to March. And since then his channel has been dwindling. I didn't think his channel was anything spectacular, but it was big enough to catch some attention. Just as a side note, I kind of find it hilarious that even his name is a playoff of Sorrow TV, a much larger content creator in our community. Misery and Sorrow are synonyms with each other and TV and Box are as well. And for all the wee babs in the audience, I'm referring to when TVs were called the Idiot Box. So let's go through the story of what the hell happened this week on the internet so we can all learn the truth about a YouTuber who is most certainly not who he claims he is. A few days ago, Fresh, Misery Box, two admins from Misery Box's server, and myself were in a phone call. Misery Box had claimed to have some very spicy information about an exposed video on r slash that was going to drop a couple hours later. He sent his admins into our servers to warn us about possible backlash from an exposed video, which would worry any YouTuber since he didn't specify who was being exposed initially. We managed to get the five of us into a phone call. It was only then that we found out not only was Misery Box not the one releasing the video, it was apparently a much smaller channel, and that Misery Box would not reveal the contents of this earth-shattering information. We were a bit skeptical, and rightfully so. The video drops the next day, and it's ultimately worthless and proved nothing. However, that exposed video became the least interesting part of the conversation. What was most interesting was a back and forth between Fresh and Misery Box, and it went a little something like this. What is the question that's burning in your heart that you need to know? Misery Box, I've asked you the same question five times in a row. Okay, don't say that. Ask the question, and then I'll give you the answer. I mean, can I get, like, I'm going to ask your admin. Have I been asking the same question about the, the dude, fucking just, the uh, rhetoric dude, they about? They're not going to respond. You think they're going to respond? Dude, they ain't going to respond. They ain't going to say shit. Just why ask not? the question, and I why, will respond. Why don't you think they would respond, just out of curiosity? All right, so let them respond. Give them five seconds. Are you going to respond? All right. So what's the question? <laughs> Mr. Bear, Mr. Furry. I, I don't even know why we're fighting, by the way. I, I'm not fighting. I'm trying to ask the same question about something that you said about a. Re- so what's, in your what's view the question, on dude? Just ask the question. I'll answer it straight up. Hattie, the, the, what's the question? Look at that. Hattie, uh, Fresh has been asking the same question for a while, dude. You're doubting right, your own so, staff here. I'm sorry, Originality Fresh. in the Reddit space. Is All there? Right, Fresh, I'm sorry. Is Ask there a question? I'll answer it. I'm in the middle of talking. Know, is there that's, that's good. on the topic of originality in the Reddit space? Do you believe that originality has nothing to do with success? And do you believe that it's possible to be original in the Reddit space and that it's vindicated, if you will, to take other people's styles? That that's just part of life and we should accept that as is. I think if, if YouTube recommends you and, and, suggest your videos uh and and your the quality of your content is high then that's gonna be really good for you otherwise um it doesn't matter 
uh, you, you you could be r slash who's honestly shit content like you look at his stuff uh, he has uh, like no music in the background which which is fine for me but for viewers i've i've already done a poll dude 90 percent of people want music in the background but they're okay with him but he's being pushed out by the algorithm unfortunately and he sucks dude let's be honest dude he sucks as a presenter as i mean he sucks his presentation sucks dude it, it's the worst i've ever seen i mean i, I would say leham's better and he sucks okay that's the truth yours is way better if you were pushed out as much as r slash would push out of course you do better because your quality is better okay what you put out there is better okay that's the truth man if i was pushed out as much as r slash shit i'd be probably at a million subs too as well it's the truth but unfortunately that is not the case and that's what we have to deal with I, I understand what you're saying. Um, just as some further clarification and a, a shout out to your mods or admins or whatever position they hold in your server. I hate that. Notice, kidding. <laughs> awesome. In that entire response, if you're wondering why Hadiot, I'm, I apologize if I'm butchering the pronunciation of your name. Hadiot's cool, yeah. Okay, if you're, if, if you're wondering why Hadiot was able to confirm that I have been asking the same question for a while, it's because not once in that response not once, not a single time did you use either the words original or copying, even though they were the crux of the question that I asked. And that's I'm sorry, dude. That's why I kept on talking about it. And that's that's the problem with this whole conversation. And I'm I'm incredibly disheartened with with the way that you carried yourself in this conversation and the the lack of professionalism that you showed. I hope that in the future we can have a better relationship than this, but I'm I'm gonna call it a night on that note. All right, dude. I look, man, I, I appreciate you. I think your content's really great. I have nothing bad to say about it. I I really do. Like I respect you. I respect your grind. That's all I can say, dude. I have like a lot of respect for you. And keep doing what you're doing, dude, because I, I appreciate that, but like berating me for, for a question that I've repeatedly asked, saying that your mods or admins won't won't back that point up when literally both of them said that I've been talking about the same like that's just it's it's just an unfortunate dude, way to go about You're trying to create drama, bro. I'm not here for drama, dude. I'm here to tell you the truth. There is no fucking issue with originality on YouTube. They don't care. They want content, bro. They no, don't care wait, if you're on, on an iPhone 4. Hold on. Right? Um, what's your name? You could Wolf? be on an the iPhone with 4 the and they would I do apologize. better than you. Gr Grudok? Uh, I appreciate... I, uh, Grutok, dude, I appreciate... Shut up, dude. Don't try to apologize to anybody. All right? You ain't going to get no goddamn sympathy here. I didn't apologize like to anyone. Bitch, all right? Just shut the fuck up and get out of here. God damn, you're a pussy. I didn't even know that you're this big of a pussy. Holy shit, man! You're you're getting on r slash for the saying these up. vile shut things. Shut your me. mouth, you little bitch! You're nothing but a little bitch. Go cry to mommy, dude. Oh, I'm, I'm original. Shut the fuck up! You ain't original. You ain't fucking original. Why don't you man up and say I'm not original? All I do is put text up and read it. I don't give a goddamn fucking shit. Why don't you just say? That you're not original, because that's what you are. You're not I'm, fucking I'm original. I'm not entirely original. I've said that right, multiple so shut times the fuck in this up, conversation. Dude. You have no point, Fresh. You have zero point. This is right? insane, You are not man. original. And don't say, oh, I can't believe that I I'm being berated. And shut the fuck up, dude. You're a fucking pussy, man. You're nothing that's but a fucking literally social justice you warrior who, who doesn't give a shit about life. You don't understand. Okay? Mr. Fresh is so original, dude. Didn't say that either. Everything All that I said was do. that I strive to All do unique sudden, things. Your no sleep channel so original. Your no sleep videos, and that you get a lot of views. Okay, let's see where we're at in a year, bro. Let's see. All right, who cares? Who gives two shits? All right, good for you. I don't give two shits about that. I think I care. I don't care, dude. I'm doing my own thing. I'm not fucking measuring myself up to you. Stop trying to be on your high horse, dude. I didn't ask you. Not an original. Why don't you just be appreciative? Said. Why don't you, for once, be appreciative that the content that you get is from other people? Why don't you acknowledge that and say, I you have know, multiple I do nothing times without this conversation. People. If Reddit no, didn't exist, you, this channel wouldn't exist. Yeah, you wouldn't exist exactly. And you know what? You're lazy in your editing, by the way. So how about that? 
How do you feel about that? What are you going to cry? What are you going to sit here and cry like a little bitch? I have you a are question. Fucking lazy. No, they're have, fucking I'm, editing. How how, how old are you? I just have a question. How old are you? Like genuinely, old I don't know. Enough to be your mom. I'm just I because she hasn't took care of you in a while. How about that? Because you are a spoiled little cunt. How about that? A cunt boy. How about that? You like that? You like being talked down to you like that? I don't, don't know. What you like? Imagine mispronouncing a name to receive a barrage of hate like that. It's quite ironic that this whole conversation started from Misery Box making grand claims about r slash being a bully, but then goes on to exhibit this type of behavior. But it does get you thinking a little bit. Like who would be this kind of person to dish out this kind of hateful behavior? Well, it turns out it's someone who isn't new to the YouTube platform at all. If you haven't heard of a YouTube IRL streamer named Jimmernam, well, don't worry because you're about to be well acquainted with him. Jimmernam is now a banned channel from this platform, but its creator revamped his image into a more wholesome, lovable pig named Misery Box. Don't believe me? Let's take a listen to the voices because as you'll notice, Misery Box or Jimmernam sound exactly the same. You can also watch TV while he takes his naps. I could have no, I could have no content and there will be viewers. How about that? The big follow-up question is obviously, how does one even get banned from the YouTube platform? Well, it turns out if you create a potent cocktail of being copyright claimed by the NBA and Howard Stern for stealing content and then doxing multiple people live on stream and telling a mother you want to have sex with her child, that can do the trick. Jimmer got taken down, Hanzi. He got him, uh... He got too many copyright strikes or something like that. Oh, yeah, Jimmer. I don't know how Jimmer went. NBA Can these guys answer me what happened account. to Jimmer? All of his Google accounts are now suspended, and then he took down his Facebook and Twitter. The only thing left up is his public Facebook. So now let's dig in into what we're all here for, the evidence. Luckily for me, it all speaks for itself, literally. Now, let's quickly discuss the topic of doxing. Doxing is defined as the internet-based practice of researching and broadcasting private or identifying information, especially personally identifying information about an individual or organization. Thanks, Wikipedia, you're the real OG for this one. Mwah. In this definition, we could make the obvious assumption that if someone were to, oh, I don't know, call a YouTuber's parent on a phone call during a live stream and giving out their full name and phone number, that would most likely qualify. And this is just the bing eating, of course. And Got a ton more things to do. This is just the beginning. Here we go. You have reached six seven zero five. Blah no blah blah. Able to answer your call, please leave a message, and we will call you back. Thank you, and have a nice day. Hey, Carol. Even better, we get a follow-up of him leaving this nugget of a voicemail, again, live and on air, for his viewers to hear, and more importantly, and more painfully, for this mother to receive that voicemail. How you doing, honey? Uh, what do you think about your shithead son, that loser, the 27-year-old fucking loser named Matthew? What's wrong with him? Can we talk about him? I am sorry for your loss about Corey. I know Corey died of AIDS or I don't know. I don't know the entire story, but Matthew said he had a enlarged heart. And I apologize that the wrong son died. I know every time you look at your son now, Matthew over there, he's a failure. In another live stream, his own chat begins to call him out for doxing, to which he denies it, all while having another YouTuber's phone number on the screen. I don't care if I'm labeled the doxer or doxing or who gives a fuck. I don't even know what that means. Because I'm not a piece of shit, internet troll, an idiot like you. Nor am I like Saiyan's Entertainment. I don't give a fuck. Do you understand the difference? I am Jim and him. I am St. Jimmy. I do whatever the fuck I want. Yeah, we are doxers. <laughs> What's a doxer? <laughs> Meanwhile. Oh, don't worry. I'm going to get all your information. Don't worry. You, you never heard of me? You never heard of me, huh? You don't know what I do, huh? That's why I'm going to put your phone number right in my fucking contacts. 
Actually, I'm gonna post it in the comment section. Those guys are yeah, SJWs. They're such SJWs. They're doxing and swatting of theirs. But then, you know, he cares so much about his loving fans. So, so much. And that's why he tried to convince a fan to pay for his LegalZoom account and for the fan to hand over his name, credit card info, and most terrifyingly, his social security number. Again, this was all happening live. Dude, it's probably gonna cost you 20 bucks. It's not gonna cost you, you a million. You do it then. Just go ahead and post your fucking you credit card in there so I could go ahead and do no, this right it. here. You, no, do you do it. it. You do it. What no, do you mean do you do it? No. You it's not the it. deal, you idiot. Mean, you. I'm paying you a million if you win. No, you're not. Yeah, I am. Because we're going to do a contract right now on air. It's on the screen. You dumbass. It's on the yeah, screen right dumbass. now. You need to come on camera for one hour. You need to come on camera for one hour. Reveal your yeah, fucking name. Don't be. Oh, you want me to come on camera for one hour? Uh, that's all you're asking? One hour. Why did you say that in the first place? I said it for how Why long now? Why did you say now, that dude? in the first place? And I want to know your name. I want to know your social security number. Your fucking name. That's a million and bucks. That's and worth a million. No, I don't, no, I don't need your bank you account. I don't need that well, shit. Well, you're gonna get it, motherfucker. You're getting it. And of course, in one of 2019's favorite flavors of drama, we have a false copyright claim made by Misery Box slash Jimmernam as well. Here's a clip from a channel called Saiyan Z Entertainment that was very clearly at odds with the former streamer talking about a claim finally being released over content that never even belonged to Misery Box in the first place. And um, I got this email this morning. From YouTube. Now, if you don't know, I posted um, a clip from Stuttering John's podcast of the prank called Donald Trump he, from Donald Trump to uh, Stuttering John. And I got a copyright takedown. And I was like, why the hell would Stuttering John do a copyright takedown? Then I looked and I noticed it was Jimmerdam who did a I was like, wait, he can't be dumb enough to think he owns Stuttering John's audio. So I fought it. And I got this email. Hi, Saiyans Entertainment. Good news. Jimmernam has just released their copyright claim on your YouTube video. Video titled, Donald Trump Calls Stuttering John. This means your copyright strike has been resolved. Unless Jimmernam is still claiming other videos included in that strike. So, um, he had to do that because I was like, because I sent to YouTube, uh, in my counterclaim, the link to Stuttering John's podcast, and I go, you cannot let a guy who doesn't own his podcast claim that he does. So uh, he went ahead and dropped that. So no more Jim and Am. He's done. Put a, put a fork in him, and uh, uh, another one bites the dust. Again, in the current realm of YouTuber no-nos, filing a false claim is most certainly one of the things you do not do. And of course, what exposed video would be completed without the cherry on top? Alleged pedophile accusations. Well, unfortunately, we have those two. In the clip you're about to hear, Misery Box is talking to a minor, then gets the mom on the phone and says, well, you're just gonna have to hear this one for yourself because I really do not wanna repeat it. Hi. How do you stand? Living with that uh, person next Don't to you. Don't do that, Jimmer. Do it, Jimmer. Do it. She put him on. Go ahead, Jimmer. Yeah, who is this? Talk to this man, woman. Who is this? Oh, get is back this... to the kitchen. Make me some sandwiches. Is this your wife? Is this your wife? I can't That's believe you mom. actually have a... Oh, it's your Bro, mom. This kid's young. I'm telling you. He might be, he might be 18. Right. She's a little shy, Jimmer. Oh, don't worry. Well, for my confidence. All right, dude, you know, I'm done with you. You know, she probably heard Jimmer, and she probably asked her son, why are you talking to old men? Do, are, are you okay, honey? Do we need to talk? <laughs> I want to, hey, put your mom back on. Is he dangerous? Hello. Hey, put your mom back on. <laughs> Hello. How does your mom feel about you being a drunk? Oh, hi, mommy. Hi, mommy. Hey. I want to hey, fuck your son in the ass. I want to fuck your son in the ass. Is that okay, honey? Can I fuck your son? Again. 
This is all obviously alleged, but that's one hell of a statement to say to a mom of a minor. After these clips started to slowly circulate and become more noticed, Misery Box began to self-destruct. He fired his entire staff from his Discord server on Friday, only to nuke it entirely five hours later. Shortly after, he left a cryptic message in a mutual Discord server shared with other Reddit YouTubers, implying that he was done. Thanks for accepting me as your own. I appreciate from the bottom of my heart, but I didn't want y'all to think I was leaving for anything bad against y'all. I got love for y'all. All of this happened over the course of a very exhausting 72 hours. If I knew this was going to be the outcome of all of this seemingly irrelevant drama, I would have most certainly made sure to catch up on my sleep. But what is happening now? Misery Box is disappearing. I don't know if he'll continue to make content on his channel, but he will most certainly suffer or worse, have his channel terminated if YouTube makes the connection that he is an individual who's already been previously banned from the platform. I mean, it could be part of the reason why he hasn't been able to get a silver play button. YouTube is so glitchy. Bum, did you apply for a silver play button? and then showing the link here. I emailed them and it replies with a generic response, like you can't use this feature or you don't qualify, haha. <laughs> and this could also be part of the reason why he can't or won't get verified on YouTube. Because to do that, you have to disclose your personal information to Google. And by doing that, he would be giving them the direct link of who he is, therefore costing him that sweet, sweet ad revenue. There is no nice way to sugarcoat this story or present this information in some really funny or entertaining way. These are the clips and statements made by Misery Box or the channel formerly known as Jimmernam. This is a sad saga with an explosive ending. So why did he go out with such a bang? Is it because he knew this information was starting to get noticed? Or was he so enveloped in the idea of drawing blood from r slash that he became blinded to the reality of the situation? I don't know. And to be frank, I don't give a fuck. But here's what I do know. This information is disturbing. This is someone I called an acquaintance and someone I knew briefly, only to realize I had no idea who this even was in the slightest. And I want to make it clear that I do not want someone like this in our YouTube community as a whole. And I feel I would be pressed to find someone still defending him, knowing what is coming directly from his own mouth. And if this community is going to get rocked by some groundbreaking exposed video, then I wanted it to come from one of our own first to give us the opportunity to create distance from someone like this. And here will be my final take on Misery Box. As Reddit YouTubers, we may be reading other people's stories or posts, but if we didn't each bring a different personality, voice acting, jokes, or commentary to go along with our narrations, then we would have never built the audiences we have today. His lack of desire to do anything original and just skim the surface to milk his fans for money is a reflection of himself and not a single one of us here in this community. And I stand by that, and I'm certain many of my own fellow content creators will feel exactly the same. Normally at the end of my videos, I thank you all for watching and I ask you to leave a like if you enjoyed the video, but I highly doubt most people watching this actually enjoyed this. This was a difficult video to make for me, and although not a fun topic by any means, I found this to be necessary in order to clean up our community and take the trash out, bacon grease and all. So thank you guys for sticking around to the end of this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.